particular morning rituals that you need to uh, need to address before you take off? I clear my throat in the morning in a really disgusting manner. Anyone who had feelings for me prior to this is probably going, oh, fuck that noise, I'm out. Okay. The townspeople, of course, I don't expect to get laid in the party. I, I mean, Valu would probably, probably spend an hour before uh, venturing off preparing. Okay. Like, uh, taking... Uh, an improvised bath, like throwing some water on her, washing her hair, that kind of thing. Okay, excellent. An improvised uh, bath includes washing your hair for you? That's... Uh, that's uh, no, 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 no. An improvised I'd bath for her... i same, splash some water on me face. Yes, in the morning. Barrel, a barrel of uh, water... Uh, some shampoo, which she, she always carries in her bag of useful crap. Okay. In her purse. Apparently. It's a bag of useful crap. <laughs> <laughs> it's I'll, a purse. Uh, make a point. Politely ask Valu if I can uh, try out her products and ask for any you know, hair care, skin care side tips. You can ask. It's not uh, that she will share with those secrets for with you. Nights in library. Never Spending Sorry. nights in the library uh, made her appreciate uh, the long beauty sleeps she can get. All right, excellent. Well, this town uh, lives by the setting and uh, rising of the sun, so you got plenty of sleep, all, uh, all of you, if if uh, if you took it. And I'm assuming Takaka, Nia, and Kiesley. Had plenty of time to, um, I don't know, read up, play cards, or whatever it is you did in the other four hours that the rest of the party was sleeping. Um, as you uh, set on your way... Uh, well, with my high dexterity, if there's any cards laying about in the morning, I'll pick one up, throw it high into the air, and watch it arc in the breeze, running to catch it as it falls. I like to throw cards in my own spare time, personally. Okay, fun. Um, as you uh, set out in the early morning, uh, it'll uh, it'll take you a few hours through these woods. Uh, as I said, they're they're pretty dense, and uh, you uh, it's not like uh, making speed on a flat open road. Um, you will uh, find the ruins, but not all that much trouble. Even though most of the uh, above-ground structures are uh, have apparently been leveled, you see some uh, blocks of stone still standing above the uh, above the surface. Um, what's also still standing is a single uh, tower. Most of it is is. Uh, most of those scattered uh, stones and then shattered masonry are covered by moss and then pine needles. Um, but that, that tower is uh, it's pretty impressive still. Is there a door to this tower? I'll take a moment to soak in the, the beauty. I'm a bit of an architecture fan. Not much of a buff on the matter, but I do like a pretty also, building. Also, uh, would Valu know what kind of civilization or faction built these structures? Uh, perhaps. That's a history role. Already did. Okay. In that case, I'm just going to say it. Uh, to I think it was Takaka who said he was a student of um, architecture. No, that was uh, Jerry, I believe. Oh, sorry. Uh, not Jerry. a student of architecture. I just like pretty buildings. I haven't put in a whole lot of study, but I'd have a, a passing knowledge of things I've taken an interest in. If oh. it's uh, medieval sort of construction, regular old castle or fortification, maybe I'd know a thing or two, but far from an expert. 
Well, at the very least, if you look around, you will notice that you stand in the uh, more or less in the center of a fairly fast field of scattered stones that are remnants of walls and buildings, um, none of which are more than waist high. So whatever destroyed this place way back when did a pretty fucking good job of it. Um, I wrote I ruled well, engineering to see if I could tell the stability of the buildings. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, okay. Valu, what did you roll the twenty for? Uh, to realize uh, what kind of architecture of uh, faction or civilization this is, what I know of this. Okay. Uh, this was once the uh, Narkeep and uh, likely dates back to the time of Narval's uh, prominence as an empire. Um, okay. This was... Fuck, pages. I wrote notes. <laughs> I wrote notes. <laughs> well, from the damage that we see to the ruins, is there any reason to believe that uh, they fell to something other than ground forces and siege weaponry? The usual stuff. Did it involve magic, arcane, or demonic otherwise? Um... There was a very large-scale war about 1,500 years ago, uh, and that also included the use of, uh, of magic. Um, but it looks like the, the fight here was, usually, was mostly, uh, mostly incorporated your normal siege weaponry. Okay. Could any of that magic have been dark or forbidden enough to leave an imprint on the joint, a reason that the townspeople yes. fear it so? Yes. The Narfel Empire was renowned for its power that, uh, for the power that it drew from bindings of uh, of uh, otherworldly beings, particularly demons and devils. Fascinating. I could explain a lot. Yes, actually, it does because some demons tend to trick people. Well, a lot of demons actually tend to trick people. And that uh, engineering got enough. no clue. Yep. I don't know who rolled it, but... Uh, Takaka, you're clueless. Yep. I might have roll. I'm, I'm not sure what sort of check that was you brought up then. No, I, I had rolled something to check the structure of the buildings. So I didn't know anything. Ah, yeah. Oh, good. Is there an entrance into that tower? At the base of the tower, there is a uh, double door. Uh, rusted iron... Um, and it's uh, it's standing slightly uh, slightly ajar. It uh, leads down some. Uh, <coughs> sorry. It leads down a uh, pretty dark uh, staircase. I mean, the staircase itself isn't dark, but the uh, the the rooms uh, beyond are definitely not lit. So if you chose to go in there, and in a second I need something to drink. Um, if you choose to go in there, you need to figure out whether you're bringing torches or not. And while you do so, I'm going to get myself a new drink because I've been talking too much. I'll be right back. Uh, shall we make that an intervention? Everyone get up for a drink or a piss if they need? Might as well. But uh, before, what? who is going to carry the torch? I need both my hands for my stuff. I have an extra two. I can carry a torch. Well, yeah, okay, give it to the three kring. <laughs> I've got a wrist razor and an empty hand, I could do so. Give it to the three kring, he has two extra hands. Yeah, I've got four arms. I have a burning torch. Fair enough. I've got some sunrise. Alright, I'm back. Is dark vision still invalidated? Uh, no, dark vision is uh, completely possible to, uh, to go into this... Um, into this completely dark space with. It's just that... You won't see any colors. No, it's just that the people, not everybody here might have dark visions, and if... Uh, if Are you going to lead everybody, or how do you plan on doing that? Uh, Takaka? We were going to give Takaka no, the... No, I was just uh, aiming for a passive buff to me perception in case something attacks us. I, I, don't think you, I don't think you are the one who needs to worry about his perception. Ah, cool. I do have low light vision, so that should help. Yeah, that's 
pretty sure everyone here has at least low light vision. Okay, excellent. Cool. Um, that ought to be it. Man give it to Takaka. I don't think I have any special sense, but who knows. Hello, uh, if a light source is nearby to my character, would dark vision go sort of like uh, night vision? How a bright light yeah. will... Uh, bleed yeah. everything out, make it so you can't see. Cool. Yeah, you can see normally. It's just if it's dark, you don't see colors, and that's about it. It's like how animals see dark vision. Cool. But I reckon I'll use it for a passive buff. I mean, I don't see the harm in that. If I'm going to see nothing in the darkness and normally in the light, when otherwise I could see, you know, colorless in the darkness and normal in the light, that, that seems might be useful. I reckon. Okay. Um, if uh, oh. I should open the maps, that might be helpful. And if we're going in, can I check for uh, magical traps? You certainly can. Uh, how would you uh, like to check for those magical traps? Um, just reach out uh, mentally and see if I can't feel the presence of the magic. Feel the presence of the magic, huh? Is that sufficient description? Uh, yeah. This whole place is magical. How do you like that? I love that. Sorry, sorry I wasn't very helpful. <laughs> uh, should we all make uh, stealth checks if we're going to try and be quiet in our approach to this scenario? You certainly was... can try. I'm afraid I might yeah, I not be too stealthy. I, I can I, roll, but... Do you want me to go ahead and... Uh... Scout sort of a little way ahead so that we don't just run into some problem. Yeah, that'd be great. Reconnaissance is uh, rarely a bad idea in my mind. I mean, we can roll just saying that I'm a big guy in a scale armor. Yeah, but I thought if I go ahead of the party, it's not going to cause as much of an issue and then I can come back if anything's about to. Yep, that's a good idea. Jump out on us. Yeah, go on, stealth. Watch me roll that one. And anyway. roll, roll a perception, please, yeah, for me. Find out. <sighs> oh, dear. <laughs> What's Jerry so, rolling and why? I think that's uh, 15 on stealth I was going for. Because, yeah, I just have it. Yeah, but why is more a question. Were you trying to go uh, with Nia? No, I just stealth when we set off. I thought that was happening soon. Okay. Nia can definitely stealth forward uh, and and try to investigate uh, everything. If uh, Jerry tries to follow, uh, as soon as he does, he's gonna you know stub his toes against the against the brick. He started cursing, and he's generally not being helpful at all in this. Uh, I wouldn't follow. Uh, reconnaissance is either a one or two person job. Two people is for if you're sitting somewhere and not moving. Um. Nia, Get out of a formation and teamwork, but yeah, I'm not gonna go out of my way when Nia is so qualified for the job. Nia will uh, see a few uh, rooms and, and hallways that have clearly caved in, uh, but uh, at the end of the uh, hallway that she's trying to um, to stealth her way through. Uh, she will find a couple of uh, pretty heavy wooden doors that are closed. Uh, can I hit, is, hear anything beyond them, or is it just silence? You hear nothing beyond them. Can I look through the keyhole? Uh, there is no keyhole. However, there is an inscription on the door. With that 29 perception, I'll give you that. All right. I'll uh, try and remember the ins inscription as much as I can, what it looked like, and then I will head back to the party as I'm not messing with anything that could possibly be magical because that is not my field of expertise and I'm likely to be blown up if I do. Okay. I could uh, perform a comprehend, um, I think it's script ritual, uh, comprehend language if needed. How long does that take? I think it's five minutes. I'm training Arcana. I got an implement for it. Now. That depends. Uh, 
uh, what kind of language this is. Maybe we know it already. Yeah, why, why don't we go check out what language it is? Uh, I would have kept an eye out for traps, obviously, because, well, mostly to c take care of myself while I was going down there. But. Uh, yeah, clearly, there are no traps. And Good. the um, the writing is uh, ancient Narfalese, which you might be able to read either with history, arcana, or that ritual. Arcana is probably the way to go rather than spend a ritual on it, I guess. Valu remembers something. Or was that Arcana? That was Arcana. But Keasley just shoves you to the side and just clearly reads it as if it was in plain <laughs> common. Apparently, to uh, to Keasley, you're just being an amateur there, Falu. Um, it's, it's all right. I got this. It says uh, R&D, authorized personnel only. <coughs> I want in. I love me some prototype gadgets. I think we should check the draw door first for alarms and things. Is oh. that 28 Arcana good enough to check for an Arcana trap too? Uh, or... Sure, there's no Arcana trap. Okay. <laughs> I never said it was magical, just... It could have been. No, I and uh, note I said there was no magic. I said no. There, I said there was no magical trap. All right, and oh, I'd like to get out of a out. close blast five, if that's all right, as we go through this door. Just Would a minute. Would multi-classing assassin give me anything like trap find for uh, you know conventional sorts of traps? I don't know, because know your character, and uh, it's not the features was... list, so I'd guess no. He already said he wanted to check with the thievery. I think uh, you were doing. Uh, yeah, I can roll thievery. I'm just checking to see if the doors like trapped or alarmed or anything. Yeah, it's a good point. To be way better than I. Only a twenty-one. Uh, uh, medium success is uh, sixteen at this level, so right. easy score. Uh, the door is just regular, albeit closed. Uh, double wooden door. Uh, nothing fancy about it, really. Alright, well, I'll... I suppose we'll, I'll open it, and if there's nothing on the other side, I'll go and scout ahead again. Okay, that's uh, what everyone thinks. It's map time. So, uh, yeah. let me take you all to a map. I'm gonna yeah. copy everybody's token. Too bad the door was not closed, because I had the line. So, do you have a key, or should I use my foot? To open it. Uh, I think Anyways. Dia was open it. All right, yeah. with her thievery. Perhaps we could push it open with the staff, if you'd rather make some distance. No, I trust myself. I'll just open it. <laughs> Fair enough. I dropped you all on a very dark map because of fog of war. You should only be seeing a small section of it. Yes, we are on the yeah. bottom. Uh, the door is right there. And you can put yourself in some sort of marching order or uh, how, how you would like to situate yourself before we go on. There seems like a good spot, but I could probably uh, move to uh, Takaka's position if he didn't want to stay there. Within four or five squares seems like the place to be. Yeah, well, I'm putting I'm, myself I'm gonna there because I'm opening the door. Here because I need to be closer. And Keasley staying solidly in the back. Fuck this. <laughs> That's my spot. Okay. Excellent. Um, I think somebody was already opening the door. So yeah, uh, Nia was. Let me let me deal with that. It's a bit awkward here. Do, 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 do. Fog of War is so awkward. And I fear not the darkness between this life and the next, for I once called it home. Good for you. Uh, he's being dramatic, really. 
Choke it on my ass. So edgy. So emo, right? Three edgy, five me. Yeah, I think there's a good story that uh, I'm going to make something of it. Seems like I fit D&D pretty well. I have made an, a whole room visible. I think you can see it now. Yes, yeah. we can. Well, I can. You should be able to see yep. it now. It's coming through. Uh, there is a new door here around the corner. And you're looking at a raised uh, hallway in the back. It's 15 feet high. And there is a... Uh, uh, what's the word here? Embossed... Uh, picture of a screaming demon at that circular half circular front how does the demon look like i'm not sure i understand your question what 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 is the answer what does the demon look like uh yeah what is the picture of the demon like how does it look it has a big gob uh, mo uh big mob uh, of a mouth with a large row of teeth, it uh, has completely wide eyes, and it looks uh, like it has no skin. But you can clearly see the muscle underneath. It has a full head of hair, and it looks pretty crazy. Uh, okay, uh, I am going to use uh, uh, the, the feature of my wild scholar since it studies demons and aberrations. Uh, I get a plus two to knowledge checks involving demons and aberrations. Uh, for lack of a better idea, I'm a big proponent of the boot method from the cube. Just throw something in there and see if something happens. Okay, I'm first curious what Valu is going to do. He's not entering the room, right? Valu? No, if I can see it from uh, where I'm standing, I am not. It's 50, it's a 15 feet tall statue embossment it's pretty fucking clear um all right uh what you rolled this a 16 is, but i'm not sure what it is you rolled for uh this is uh, a arcana roll and uh actually no it's gonna be a history roll since uh, i have studied it as part of my background okay and what is it you'd like to know I would like to know what kind of demon this is, what kind of uh, species it is, uh, its vulnerabilities, just in case. Okay. Uh, how can you kill him? How it is summoned? What are its... Uh, it's uh, it looks like an undead large shadow creature. Uh, also known as a rate. Uh, but as I said, it's a depiction. It's an embossment into the uh, stonework. I'm not sure this is the time to bring it up, but do I know my fellow party members here to be beacons of morality, right? leaning more towards good than neutral? You would have adventured together, so you would have known that from each other, I mean. You, you can say that. I'm more towards good, but I try not to be a pain in the ass. Not like a paladin. Alrighty, so I was going to suggest, should we walk away from here brimming with riches? Maybe we don't need to be so loud about it. I mean, we get paid more for not finding anything, eh? Um, no, let's go take the, the riches here. If there's a demon, we kill it. Or send it back to Bator, or Abyss, or whatever. And if we can, we keep quiet. Uh, nice. I mean, I can agree with Marking that, as long as we find answers regarding Hermit in here. Because maybe he's not crazy as they think. Nia, did you yeah, still want to stealth ahead? Myself. Yeah, I can do. Um, I'm going to just assume this area is going to have something funky going on with it. I was going to say, be careful with traps as, you, as you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah oh, man, it's, for traps. it's ominous for sure. <laughs> <laughs> because I would never drop you on a map for no reason, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> Bunch of metagamers. 
Well, right. come on. What we're looking at, we're going to feel a little bit like, oh, this is shifty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, it just looks like a boss battle area. Uh, who, me? You've put it. A- high ceilings, giant demon statue. Clearly, it's going to come to life lit? and we're not expecting. <laughs> that sort of thing. <laughs> that good old storied cliche. I'm sure you would have read a tale of that before, or at least my character being <clears throat> a bard. And I've never put together a boss fight. There was a question, is the room lit? (laughs) I didn't hear what you said. Mia, are you entering uh, to scout or not? Yeah, I will do. I will move sort of this way, I guess. The room is not lit. Okay, but it doesn't bother me. I was just wondering if it looked like there had been people in it before. So I'll move like that. I'd like to move up to the front and ready a signal arrow to shoot past the okay, just, statue's just, just, like, just, head. Not at it, but past it. See if I can distract just, it with bright light. Do you want me to move one by one? No, I want the players to move each at their own turns and not at the same time. That's why I was trying to interrupt. Let me speak. Um, so, uh, Nia, as you move forward there, uh, yeah. you know, I'm what? looking for traps on the way, obviously. Yeah, uh, I'm. I'm gonna stop here. Uh, nothing happens. Don't be afraid okay. of that. But um, why don't you all roll initiative so we can just um, <clears throat> stop her? That's my surprise round against the rest up. of the party. Oh, not bad. Sixteen. There is a warlord amongst you. So, are there any bonuses? Yep, yeah, plus two. Okay, so I get 17. Would that put me on 18 from the original roll? Because I'm seeing a plus 2 there anyway. I'm not entirely... Oh, hang on, that's the initiative bonus. So, yeah, final score, 18. Yeah, am I supposed to add that to the turn order? I'm not sure if that's the DM. Yes. Then add. I'm sure I remembered it, yeah. Nah, you can yeah. handle your own token. Uh, do I drop it in the turn order box? I can't remember how to do this last time. How is it not in the turn order box? It's the more interesting question. Select, select your yeah. token. Press the select initiative. your token and then roll initiative. That's, that's useful. Yeah, because there's a tracker marker. Anyways, now... I think all of us are on initiative. Uh, should I add a uh, plus two to that? Because it should read yes, uh, 18. You can, yes. yes. You, can add 18. It, you can add it your number in the uh, in the turn order. Yep. And all the way down there. <sighs> okay, so let me sort you lot. I don't mean to interrupt, but uh, what's the tiebreaker when... Two characters get the same role. Uh, initiative, dex, and a roll. Ah, yep. Cool. Though, in this case, do Jerry and uh, Keesley care? Nah, not really. I have the higher int, but he can go first. Thanks, Keys. I'll try and make good use of it if that signal arrow idea works. We'll get to you in a in a minute. Yes. Uh, so Nia, we were on your turn. Yeah. I don't yeah. know how you managed to win initiative, but you know that helps. <laughs> um, and you took a move action. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Are you you're sneaking, right? Yes, I am sneaking. Walking. No, I am sneaking. So then you owe me another stealth roll. Yep. <laughs> And let's not forget trap finding. I was mentioned too. Wow, good stealth, Jack. Yeah, are you actively looking or are you using your passive perception? Uh, I will actively look. As a minor or as a standard? I'll do it as a standard. Okay, DC 16. Wow, you... Um, you don't see any traps. 
That's not good. <laughs> it's entirely safe, says Nia. Okay, Jerry, what were you up to? I'll move forward, and uh, what's the range on the arrows? Where was the demon? It was about center in front of the door, wasn't it? I'm not sure what... Depends what kind of uh, ranged weapon you are using. Yeah. Uh, is that... Uh, it's, it's a longbow, but that part of the back of the room where it's got a little curve there, is that where the demon is? The statue? I'm pretty sure uh, the longbow has enough range. Here. Cool. I just have a look. I'm sure I wrote down the longbow's range on my sheet. It's twenty-five. Uh, it's uh, twenty-forty. Ah, yep. Cool. And what are you doing? Are you shooting at a statue? I was. I was going to ready a signal arrow. If the statue okay. comes alive, I was going to have the signal arrow pass by its head rather than going for it directly. Try and distract it with bright lights and noise passing by. It's, uh, Vision. Okay, so you're ready in an action, readying an action. Is that what you're saying? Yep. Okay. Uh, why don't you change your? Sorry. Yeah, we'll keep that in mind. Uh, Keesley, what would you like to do? Move I'll in. move to where uh, Nia was, and that's it. Okay. Uh, Nazar. Ah. Uh. I'm like uh, Far Cry Primal style, like Nazal. Everybody speaks it differently. For me, it's Nahazar. Fair enough. So I just like for now move here unless I'm moving. So can we go in yet? Uh, Well, Nia made it in there. Safe, yeah. Nia says completely safe. Then what the hell? I'm I'm like. Able to reasonably expect Wait, safety. Wait, that's but... my first move, and that's my move action. Anything happens when I move here? Are you stealthy? At least. I can try to be stealthy. <laughs> no, but I are, are you trying? Is my question. Um, if they. Hmm. That's how your character's a tank, isn't it? Kinda, not optimized, so... No, it, I'm, I'm it, really not trying. I can act as a distraction. Yeah, I was I'm thinking either a, you group. or Takaka. If someone were to make noise and draw attention in the room, probably the least squishy character among us. And then everyone else lends support when the shit goes down. Okay, so I'm not trying to be stealthy. Sure. If nothing happens when I move here, I will spend my second standard as a... Basically, I will double move if nothing happens when I'm here. And nothing happens while you're there. Okay, so I will move second move five here, and and that's all. All right, uh, Valu. Uh, all right, Valu will pull up another caustic whetstone and apply it to her staff of ruin because the last one ended uh, yesterday. I am shocked, man, shocked. <laughs> If one character was trying to be stealthy and another wasn't, could the uh, the louder character like compromise the stealthy one's position yes. by getting too close? No. Then well, I am going to no. move. Do we have okay, the enough. bloody shadow walk? Okay. It kind of cool for immersion, but homebrew rules are too much bother. If you're being, if some creature is being stealthy and another, uh, an ally is not, then the ally might be discovered. Uh, if then uh, enemies come in to investigate, they will likely also find the stealthed creature. Oh yeah, cool. Is that I am not, and I am not trying to be stealthy. Okay. Are you trying to see to look for traps? No. All right. Good for you. I'm just gonna ready an action, a basic, arranged basic attack, which is the Eldritch Bolt, uh, to sh shoot the first non-allied creature that appears. You're ready in an action, okay. Takaka. 
Takaka's not really one for this whole like wait and see thing, so he just moves up to here. <laughs> okay. He said it was safe, so he assumes it's safe. <laughs> All right, uh, that is uh, seven squares, if I count it quickly enough. Yep. Um, as you might know, or maybe not, we're low level here. Uh, you could also expand your standard action to take a move action if you if you so wish. Mm. Yeah, I guess I will. I'll move up to. I'll move up to here. Okay. That seems good. Awesome. Uh, Nia, we're back to you. Sorry, I was muted. Uh, I'm going to go and check on these doors, basically. I can get to about there, I think. Okay, uh, one, stop. Two. Yeah. Stop. Fun's about to go down. Yeah. And it's a new turn. You want me to roll anything? No, I'm just doing some D&D stuff. Some DM stuff, I mean. Do I hear maybe an intervention coming up if your phone's about to go down? Or did you say shit's about to go down, more or less? I think it was shit's about to go down. Shit's about to go uh, down, but it's a new round. I hear what I said. Oh, sick, a race. That is cool. And it's a large one, too. And I don't know if you can see that. You should, but it has an aura. Yeah, I see an yeah. aura. So uh, if I could, um, does like, that not trigger my those... readied arrow? I'm not sure if that'd trigger or if I have to wait my turn there. Uh, both readied actions come into play. Yeah, both readied actions come in. But I was gonna it, let Nia do his turn. My readied action is not in range yet. Okay, well let Nia. Handle her, sorry, turn. Yeah, right. sure. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Oh, I'm going to Death Strike over to here, I think, as uh, doors come secondary to actual creature that's attacking us. Why not open the doors? Come on. <laughs> 31 versus AC on it with a crossbow. Uh, well, actually, I, I might not be. 